Yeah, Rick, Vicki, the Attorney General is sometimes called the state's top cop. And in today's press conference, Coleman signaled that is a role that he is going to fully embrace like no other. Louisville remains a very dangerous place, particularly in some neighborhoods. Flanked by his transition team, Attorney General-elect Russell Coleman says he has already reached out to Jefferson County Commonwealth's attorney, Jarena Weathers. She was one of the first uh, calls, first texts I made. We're looking forward to sitting down and talking about how the Attorney General can play a role in violence reduction in Louisville. I don't know what that looks like yet. Addressing violent crime in Louisville is going to be one of his top crime fighting priorities. I know the attorney general's traditionally not been in that space, but I feel it's it's such an exigent issue in this commonwealth that we're going to find a way to be come alongside and assist the commonwealth's attorney in any way that's useful in saving lives in Louisville. Coleman previously served as US attorney for the Western District of Kentucky, a position based in Louisville. While there, he was known for collaborations with LMPD and other agencies, an experience he wants to duplicate statewide to fight drug dealers. I'll tell you this, those threats aren't shrinking. The cartels that are dumping that poison into this commonwealth, they're getting more and more effective. We have to run faster in law enforcement. And so in this climate, that means better and more real-time collaboration. His other priorities include investigating public corruption, supporting local prosecutors, and fighting child exploitation and child sex abuse. His predecessors include Governor Andy Beshear, who made a name for himself as AG, suing the Republican legislature over laws like the pension reform bill, which sparked massive protests. But Coleman says he'll be more like Daniel Cameron, who defended GOP laws from court challenges. The role of that corner office there of the attorney general is to defend and execute statutes as passed by the third floor in this building, our legislature. That's how I approach these cases. Now, according to Kentucky's Constitution, the Attorney General takes office on the first Monday of the new year. That's going to be January 1st. Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News.